Podcasting is networking. Cafe Networking Podcast promotes entrepreneurs, authors, business experts throughout the world. I'm Tom Riach, known as the King of Networking, connecting people and speaking from my studio in Brazil. Today we talked with Dr. Debbie Silber, and she's joining us from Huntington Station, New York. Dr. Debbie Silber, founder of the Post-Betrayal Transformation Institute, is a speaker, holistic psychologist, a health, mindset, and personal development expert, author of the number one best-selling book, The Unshakable Woman, Four Steps to Rebuilding Your Body, Mind, and Life After a Life Crisis. Another book is Trust Again, Overcoming Betrayal, and Regaining Health, Confidence, and Happiness. So, Debbie, how can we learn to trust again? Mm -hmm. You know, I look at trust as a brick wall. The only way I know of a brick wall being built is brick by brick by brick. Every opportunity someone has to show that they're trustworthy, that's one brick in that brick wall. Mm -hmm. And then think about it, in one earth-shattering moment, the entire wall can come tumbling down. Well, you can look at the rubble of bricks and say, I don't have the least bit of interest in watching that thing get rebuilt. However... If you are willing to watch that brick wall be rebuilt, that would be the the person who's been betrayed, trust has been shattered, that's their role. The other person has to be a really good bricklayer. And it Mm. goes up the same way it went up the first time, brick by brick by brick. Every opportunity they have to show that they're trustworthy, that's one brick in that brick wall. But that could take a whole lifetime after the the point of being betrayed. Uh, How do we overcome that? You know, it's it, we actually, there's a roadmap. There are five stages you will move through if you are to fully heal from betrayal. Most people tragically stop mm. in stage three, trust again, uh, maps out the, the five stages in my most recent book, From Hardened to Healed, is just for stage three because that's where people get so stuck. And once we figured out how to survive our experience, because it's so much better than the shock and trauma of where we've just been, right. we think it's good. Transformation doesn't even begin until stage four. So we need to learn to move through all of the stages, not just get to stage well, three. Well, we, we really, we need to want to move. Because many people sort of dwell on the betrayal and they sort of nurture that as a banner sometimes. Oh yeah, absolutely. We get so many benefits from staying stuck. And with betrayal also, it's not just betray- relational betrayal. Mm-hmm. We can feel betrayed by a family member, a partner, a friend, a coworker. It's it's the the bet- or betrayal of expectations. Corporations. Betrayal of self. <laughs> Corporations, absolutely. So the way it works is it's the breaking of a spoken or unspoken rule. Mm-hmm. Without our awareness or consent, the rule has changed and trust has been shattered. Well, we can actually have multiple betrayals from what you just said. Oh, absolutely. Uh, can we yeah. dig out of all of those? Can we rebuild we, those walls? We can. And, you know, when it comes to multiple betrayals, a classic sign of an unhealed, uh, of repeat betrayals mm. is is when, when we have repeat betrayals, that means that betrayal has not been healed. The original betrayal has not uh, been healed. So that leads to another and another, and it could lead to another and another. The face has changed, but it's the same thing. We keep going from boss to boss to boss, friend to friend to friend, partner to partner to partner, saying, what the heck is it me? Yes, it is. Not in that it's your fault, in that it's your opportunity. There's a profound lesson waiting to be learned. Until and unless you do, you will have opportunities in the form of people to teach you. From what I've seen of everything that you've shown, uh, your site, your profile, there's a whole world of betrayed persons out there. Oh, it's so widespread. It is so widespread. And these these betrayals could have happened when we were a little kid. Right. It could happen from the boyfriend or girlfriend in high school. And time does not heal all wounds. I did the research. I have the proof, not when it comes to betrayal. So until unless we deliberately and intentionally heal it, we keep moving into relationships, not that they're good. They're so familiar. Well, it's like the wall. It's hard to build it by yourself. So really, we need help. And we need the right type of help. The wrong type of support does more harm than good. We have lots of people coming into the PBT Institute with therapy trauma, mm. where, mm. you know, if this, if that therapist may be very skilled, but if they're not highly skilled in betrayal, it does more harm than good. Well-meaning friends, if they haven't been there, what they're saying could do more harm than good. Very important to have the right type of support when you're healing from betrayal. I've been there myself. People sort of say they help, but let's say they're more amateuristic in that. Mm-hmm. And they and obviously I don't want to say they have the skill set. They're not competent in that, and they're just trying to listen or maybe hear you, 
and then coming back with whatever their, their objective suge- suggestion could be in a quick fix. But I don't think betrayal is a quick fix, is it? Not at all. Not at all. It hits us on every level, physical, mental, and emotional. So it needs to be addressed on every level. Most people, maybe they'll address it on the cognitive, let's say the, the mental level, but it, 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 the issues are in the tissues. All of it needs to be addressed. <laughs> issues in the tissues. That's, that's getting into the heart. It absolutely is. I mean, this is, this is a shock to the body, the mind, and the heart. And that's why it all needs to be addressed and healed. Well, hopefully uh, we can get over it. From what I've seen, from what you've done and how you approach it, uh, there is the healing aspect. There is another day the sun will shine. It's not just possible, it's predictable. Mm. It's predictable. That's what the research proved. If someone is willing to go through the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough, they will predictably heal and become a version of themselves that is so healthy, so healed, so happy, so confident. A version of themselves that's waiting Mm. on the other side of their healing. So the secret there is no secret. It's willing to be willing. Willingness is is one of the biggest needle movers in healing from betrayal and just a willingness to move through the stages. It's all mapped out. We even know what happens physically, mentally, and emotionally at every stage, and we know what it takes to move from one stage to the next. There is a roadmap. Well, the first thing, and I, we see that in other series, it's the first step is probably the most difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, because so many people gain so much from hanging on to their story, Mm -hmm. the the small self benefits, they get to be right, they get a target for their anger, they get someone to blame, they get sympathy from everyone they tell their story to. And on some level, when you don't know what's waiting for you, that that seems good. So, you know, we we dig into those as if they're benefits. Mm -hmm. But when we realize the real benefits that are waiting for us, those benefits blow the doors off of what we think are benefits. So it's really learning to smile again. Well, that's that's part of it, and it comes when you do the work. I mean, this is one of those things where, you know, most people, there's a saying I've been saying in my 30 years of business, it applies to every area of life. Hard now, easy later. Easy now, hard later. Take your pick. It's going to be one of those two. When it comes to betrayal, it is a case of hard now. The work is hard and the most transformative work you'll ever do. I hear you saying that. It's work, and it's not a magic pill that we're going to take. Not at all. Not at all. But most people, because it's so painful, they opt for the easy now. They don't want to face it and they don't want to feel it so that they don't heal it. You know, our motto in the PBT Institute is face it, feel it, heal it. And that's all we do. You have to face it, you have to feel it, and then you heal it. Well, Deb, I want to thank you for being part. Now, how can our audience find you? Oh, everything is at the PBT, as in post-betrayal transformation, the PBTinstitute.com. Very good. So thanks again for being part and sharing. Thank you so much. All right. Now, for our audience, again, you can find more about Debbie Silber. It's D-E-B-I. The last name is S-I-L-B-E-R. Find her on LinkedIn and the pbtinstitute.com. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information on their site, focusmi.com. Thanks for listening until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast.